God quake. The Lord said this is a God quake and the heavenly realms will shake to release a blessing preserved in the earth below. Then I heard the Lord say, they will say, people will say, people will say, what is the reason for this to come? And the Lord said this, he said, a rumble, a shake, a sign to awake, the harvest, the harvest has come, another gold rush has begun. So there's something to do with the shaking, the shaking and the quaking that is going to come in California that is going to release as a, uh, as a, uh, it's going to release a rumble, a shake, a sign to awake. So there's an awakening coming to California, the harvest. Now, is that a spiritual harvest? I believe so. I believe it's a spiritual harvest and I believe it's a natural harvest. And because it's a double harvest. The Lord said, the harvest, the harvest has come. Another gold rush has begun. So there's something about this, the, the, this particular place, Purdue, California, a shaking happening. And then there being gold, gold released. Now, is that spiritual gold? Is that natural gold? I don't want to try to read into the vision. Yay! I don't want to try to read into the vision. I just, I want to release the word and for us to begin to pray into it. Because the Lord told me that there is going to be a shaking, a quaking, and he called it a God quake. And he told me that it was going to be a sign, this rumble and this shaking, that it was a sign of awakening. For everyone. Right. Let's have a look at Lisa's face. I don't I can't tell if you're seeing me. <laughs> I'm joyful. I just got joy. Right. When I come when I left to go up the mountain, I got three days notice and I went up the mountain, I left everything, left my husband a dear John letter. letter. Now there's a train that comes over here and it's called the Crunchy Gold Train. And there's an ad and it's about gold. I'll link it to this. When I came here, the Lord said to me, there's gold here. Did I know I was going to end up on a gold mine? Did I know that in 2018 I was going to research the history of the land? That's why when I saw Charlie Sh Shamp's video that year, when I was back in Christchurch with my husband finishing the house, when I saw that video in the spirit, I found out, because I did research, what Peru, California was. It was a gold mining town. Now I want to finish with this. We are all needing to repent for the sins of fathers. We are. What happened in that town is the same as what happened here. The Chinese came. They got given the scraps, the leftovers. They got given the leftovers and for all their hard-earned work, and ingenious techniques they pulled gold out of the leftovers they were hated and despised and called the yellow what was it called they called them yellow fever or something disgusting and you know your nation of America is you know the land of the free well you legislated I looked it up. You made a special legislation that excluded the Chinese. Yes, you did. Look it up. And they, not, they got no benefits, nothing, and many of them starved to death. 
old woman, young babies. They got no financial support, yet they were citizens here. They came in the gold rush, just like many other nations, to Peru, California. That's your history, California. That's your history, Babylon. And they were singled out, targeted, hated and despised. Now tell me why that nation is coming onto your land to invade you. Why? Repent for the sins of the fathers. There's gold here. And do you know what gold is? It's the natural resource, but it's the spiritual resource, just like the shaking. Natural and spiritual. There was a shaking in Christ Church, which pointed to Japan. Because a month or so after that, we had the big tsunami in Japan. Did we not? That would probably be the picture that everyone's afraid of. It might not be happening in Peru. It might not be happening on any of the coasts. But I can guarantee you, because of what Eric said, it will happen. So let's just take the light load where the waters come up. And it's a God quake. Be there. See it. Be in the harvest. Be transformed. And help people onto the ark. The harvest. Now when you see them on their boats. If you don't know what Jonathan Clex showed us. The key. Yes Charlotte. Could it be that simple? If you can't. Turn that key because God has sent his messenger. A messenger is given. A, a bell ringer, Jonathan Clegg. If you don't know that, there are pillows fluffed up with worms. The canker worm waiting for you to die so he can consume she, your energy, because you're a trapped angel. They can't create energy. God created the angels. He can't really destroy them. They have eternal life. He can't go against his word. So you will live. You will live. They live. You will live as a being. A being that comes up from the pit. A locust. That is your end. If you don't receive the word from Jonathan Clegg. If you don't heed what Eric, the harbinger, is saying, and you can't see the glory that I'm bringing, the message to the church of Ephesus is to come back to your first love. Come back. You're an adulterous generation. How do you think the Lord feels about adultery? He knows the pain of it, and all of us have probably experienced it by now. This is a prison, and this is where you've learned something, I hope. You know what to bring to the Lord. You know what your sacrifices are. Now sacrifice praise to the Lord. Be filled with the joy. Be joyful. Celebrate through the apocalypse, because it's coming. And remember, we're getting equipped, transformed, and you will have the authority to say, not like the church we've had up till now, no, this is the one that the Lord Jesus builds. You will have the authority like I saw. No pillows allowed. And they instantly, they're in this boat, through the, they tossed their pillows. And they were in the ark. You weren't allowed in there because I instinctively knew that with a pillow, it would fill up the ark, which is the temple, and everyone would suffocate. There would be no breath left in your temple. No pillows allowed. 